Recently, we got to know that all four members of Blackpink have renewed their contract with YG Entertainment, but after this confirmation another news came out and many people got confused that maybe Blackpink hasn't renewed the contract and are leaving YG. Basically, Blackpink has renewed their contract with YG just for their group activities and have decided that they will not renew the contract for their individual activities, moreover, in December 2023, it was officially announced that Jenny has established her own label named, Odd 8 Liar, and Jisoo will reportedly join her brother's company. Every blink knows that Jisoo is an introvert but in a show, while talking about MBTI, Jisoo revealed that she was an extrovert, but when she took an MBTI test in 2022, she was shocked to know that she actually has an introverted personality, she revealed that she was INFJ, but her MBTI changed again in 2023 and now she is ISTP. The ISTP personality type is introverted, sensing, thinking, and perceiving, which means they are energized by time alone, detail-oriented, logical and objective, and flexible. ISTPs work well with their hands, have excellent technical and mechanical skills, and are remarkably good at fixing things and solving practical problems, they can be very reserved, sometimes coming across as insensitive or impatient, and this perfectly defines Jisoo as she is known to leave parties early. While talking to Park Myung Soo, Jisoo shared that she's no stranger to making quick escapes when she wants to go home and even shared the trick to going home early from events. Jisoo said that when she wants to go home, she tells people that she is going to the restroom but leaves the party instead. She said that it's like a code phrase, so whenever she says that she is going to the restroom, her friends understand that she wanna leave now. Perfectly defining ISDPs, she also revealed another habit that every introvert can relate to. She recently appeared at Girls' Day Harry's new talk show and the two showed off their close friendship by sharing fun stories about how they met, Jisoo's self-proclaimed stalker status and more. Jisoo recently celebrated her 29th birthday, which reminded Harry of the birthday party her band members had thrown two years ago and she asked Jisoo what the Blackpink members had done for her birthday in 2023, Jisoo shared that she didn't remember, likely because the group was busy with their Born Pink World Tour. Harry suggested that they would throw Jisoo a birthday party next year, but Jisoo declared that she prefers to spend her birthday alone, which reflects every introvert's wish. Harry was surprised but Jisoo explained that being alone on her birthday is her gift to herself. I don't know why, but this reminds me of the time when Jisoo talked about her rare side. Obviously celebrities do have different sides that we are unaware of, but everyone was shocked when Jisoo said that she cries quite a bit. In her Elle's emoji interview, she was asked, do you have unexpected or rare sides of you? She held up the water droplets emoji and explained that she's actually more emotional than people often think. She said, I cry quite a bit too but since I don't cry in public often, I have a strong image. Many netizens said that Jisoo is the cold stone type of beauty inside and out, because she rarely allows her sad side to come out in public, they assume that she's indifferent behind closed doors as well. Contrary to what people think, Jisoo is actually more sensitive than many people expect and her hidden side is that she cries easily when she is alone, she also added that there are things that makes her cry instantly as well. After Blackpink, EXO's unit group CBX, that are Chen, Baekhyun and Xiaomin has established independent labels, attracting attention to the new moves of major artists from large entertainment companies. Recently, ExoCBX announced the establishment of the independent label, INB100, and announced that they will begin full-scale individual activities. The members of CBX debuted in the music industry as EXO members in 2012 and have continued their activities as part of a team for over 10 years. Among them, unit group CBX was active. But this was only a short unit activity that did not overlap with the EXO's activities. Baekhyun and Chen are the team's main vocalists and Xiaomin also serves as a sub-vocalist and sub-rapper. Their attractive vocals and singing skills have been a major driving force behind EXO's popularity since their debut. One music agency official said, It is true that among group members, especially vocal members, there is a strong tendency to want to become independent as time goes by. In addition to the increased value of their name, their individual capabilities have been recognized by the public. Therefore, rather than remaining in the team, the goal is to be more diverse and make more substantial profits through individual activities. In fact, Dio who was the main vocalist in the team with Baekhyun, also established a one-man agency, Company Susu, 
and is actively working as an actor as well as a singer. In addition to CBX, Blackpink and Big Bang's G Dragon also announced a new beginning by settling in with a new agency, despite being part of a large entertainment company, YG Entertainment. The biggest reason for their departure is interpreted as limited musical challenges. An industry official stated, It is not easy for agencies with distinct musical styles such as YG, SM, and JYP to pursue the music style that each artist wants. This is because, even if members write and compose their own lyrics, they are often tied to the agency's style. In the end, the members who felt frustrated left to pursue more free musical attempts without being bound by the entertainment company's musical style. Another decisive reason for them leaving their agency is the emergence of prominent junior groups from the agency that cannot be ignored. In the case of SM Entertainment, there are currently junior groups that are very active with new music styles, such as the groups Espa and Rise. YG also debuted a new girl group called Baby Monster, the agency's intensive management system, which was intended for Blackpink and EXO members, has no choice but to be dispersed to multiple groups. For this reason, albums of senior groups such as Blackpink and EXO is significantly slower than in the past. In the case of EXO, they only released their seventh full-length album in about three years and six months last year and have not shown any active music activities before. Blackpink has also not released any new albums since their second full-length album Born Pink, released in September 2022. In this way, in order for members such as Blackpink, ExoCBX, and G-Dragon to focus on their individual activities and demonstrate their capabilities, the establishment of a one-person agency is an inevitable choice, of course, they will maintain their existing team activities under the management of their original agency. Attention is being paid to what kind of win the new movements of major artists from large entertainment companies that led an era will bring to the music industry in the future.